Good morning. Tim with Neen's Bees. It is June 15th today. It is the day after all the excitement of um, us catching our first swarm here at the house. And <clears throat> these girls, so uh, last night you saw everything go in. If you watched the video, I appreciate it. You saw everything happen. And so um, what I did last night was I came out. I'd shuffled boxes. You can see they're stacked differently. I'd shuffled boxes, brought these boxes this way, went through all the boxes, made sure there was no, um, you know, extra bees, cast swarms, whatever, like not. A lot of times these, these swarms will have a couple of queens in them, a couple of virgins, and so I didn't want to make sure. I wanted to make sure that they didn't split, and they didn't. Um, and so these boxes are empty. I then came out last night, and I put a tie down on these girls and I screened them in and so here you go you can see them and so these guys are screened in right now and they're they're wanting to go to work because it's 70 out and the sun's out and so um, I'm gonna get going on these girls right now but I've got them screened in and so um, <clears throat> what my plan is is to they are gonna go up to the eight frame yard there's Frank hey Frank so they're gonna go up to the eight frame yard and so what I have is I've got I built this hive stand last week because it was raining and I was bored and so I was like oh I'm just gonna build another hive stand I'm glad I did and so you guys will see me set this up um, and I'm gonna these are my vent boards you've seen the videos on these um, but so then what I did was I um, went down to the basement and I grabbed an extra hive just an eight frame hive and so the ones that you see out back are uh, all beat up these are what they look like finished and so I finished these hives I'll re putty all the seams sand them down get them all cleaned up and so and then I buy new um, telescoping boards because they are better in the Northwest and new inner covers so here is my sticker Swarm capture, June 14th, 2018. Virgin Q, Virgin Queen, don't know. What I did was I went downstairs and I grabbed, oh, it's heavy. I've got a couple of frames of honey here uh, and just old uncapped nectar for them. So I've got one on that side and one on this side. That's gonna make it so I don't have to feed um, the honey flow is, the nectar flow is just about on anyway. And then I've got a bunch of this old drawn comb, like you see, um, me always have. And the thing of it is that I don't know the hive that they're in. I don't know what it has in it for frames. I don't think it has many frames in there, but it's got a couple in there. I know that because I saw them packing out bee bread. <clears throat> so, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer, uh, frames from the hive that they're in into this box you guys will see that uh got some pollen patties just so that they have a good kickstart on raising bees raising babies uh that queen's still probably gonna have to mate um but that's what i'm doing today so um i will see you guys at the eight frame yard we are leveled here um so my stand is level and I always try to run, this might be a little bit of a glare here. Um, I like to run my hives canted a bit forward, obviously, as everyone does, um, so that you have good runoff, you have good water runoff. So when I put in new hives, especially like these guys too, and I've showed you before, I like to run awnings. So I'll cut an awning for this hive. Um, but uh, everything will run forward um, to keep all water going towards the front of the hive there um, it's also easier for buildup in the hive when these bees are cleaning if the hive is canted backwards so if it's off level towards the rear everything goes towards sorry I'm in the shadow everything goes towards the back of the hive and it's harder for them to clean but if they can roll it forward they can clean their hives easier so that's why y'all you always want your hives running forward um, so we are going to uh, go get some bees and I'm gonna suit up and then uh, we'll start start putting a new swarm in here 
Okay, so Hive is opened up. Um, I'm going to pull just a couple of frames right now because I know that there are drawn frames in here. And um, Connie from, what's the name of your stables? Iron Horse. Iron Horse Stables. So Connie from Iron Horse Stables came out and she and Kevin, her husband, have let me keep my bees out here and uh, she says that she loves them. They're very cool. Um, and so I'm very, very thankful for a place to, to keep hives because um, of the just the importance of, of bees. And so, so what we're doing is I did fire up the smoker. I'm going to give these guys just a little bit of, maybe, give these guys just a little bit of smoke to kind of settle them down a little. And then what I did was when I transported, I transported with a towel on the front of them um, just to help them with acclimation here. And so um, the towel is off now so they can redirect with the sun as I transfer over. So um, Connie came out, wanted to see the festivities. Um, I had an extra veil. She's got my veil on and is going to record for me and we're going to open some bees so I'm going to give these guys just a little bit in the front here or in the back of the hive cool so this is a full box it's a full box of frames I didn't think it would be it's not a very big swarm so first thing is you're always going to look up here See if queen's around, don't see queen. I'm gonna put these, this box right in the front. Oh, you know what I am gonna do real quick is, I wanted to put an entrance reducer on here for these guys, and so I'm just going to, there. Put that entrance reducer in for them. Um, and now we're going to grab a couple hive tools. super excited because this is the first swarm that I've ever caught. So this is the drawn comb that was in there. Ooh, I'm super excited too. Very, very chill bees. Laid back. That's cool. And so as I transfer these over, all I'm doing is seeing if I can see a queen. There's a big drone right there. Big drone right in the middle. Now he just got covered up. Okay, first frame going in. Looks like we're gonna have about four frames to go into this box. So there's the first of the cluster. And then what I'll do is I will um, I will just keep moving these frames out, these old frames, because they're not super clean. Just ones that I haven't gotten to, but they apparently thought that they were okay. So, yeah, they're laid back, really laid back little bees. One thing that's cool about swarms is that because typically uh, they're going to be as docile as you'll find them and it's because they don't have anything to protect this isn't their comb they're just acclimating to it and so because they don't have a hive to protect they're super chill little bees i mean they're not blowing up in my face they're not coming after me there's queen she's marked this year's see her Red is from this year, 2018, and she's got just a little bit of red left on her, and she almost looks like a carny queen. Oh, I see. That mark is See that very little smart. mark? It's very, very right. small right there. Um, she's rubbed off. It's, uh, probably a lot of it got rubbed off. So none of my queens were marked. Mm -hmm. So I know that this was, was not one of my hives.
So, bummer for somebody. Freebies mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take one more frame out because there's more than I anticipated. This is a pretty decent swarm. Okay, next frame coming out. And they're cleaning, they're working. Sorry, girls. <laughs> it's not the first time that's happened. And it probably won't be the last. At least the queen wasn't on there. Mm -hmm. Um, geez, bigger than I thought. Little bonus. I almost wish I had another box. I should have brought one. Because that's still a ton of bees right there. Wow. Look at that. This is the most bees I've ever seen isn't moving that, around out isn't here. Isn't that impressive? Yeah. That's a great swarm. All right, so I'm going to put these guys over next to this honey frame here. One, two, three, four, five, six. More bees. Okay. So this is where it gets interesting because um, I'm full frames right now, I think. Mm. And that's a little hunt. That's kind of a honey frame there. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, they've already moved over onto this one. That's wow. one I just had just put in. And so um, here we go. We're going to do a shake. Okay, like that. Um, this frame is good. More bees. Decent swarm, Connie. This this swarm was probably three pounds. All right, so then what we'll do is we're going to, they're hungry, they're all over this pollen already. I'm gonna take this pollen out of here. Put pollen there. So that queen will probably start laying in the next two or three days. We're gonna put pollen here for them. Pollen up front for them. Look at, come in close and you can see them on that. They're already just, chowing down on there. Hmm. Okay, so that's our transfer. Um, I was hoping to use some of my better frames. Let me grab that from here real quick. I was hoping to use some of my better frames, um, but um, I transferred all everything over. So there's still a mess of bees in here. I'm gonna cover these guys up, and then these guys will all just fly in there. I might give them a shake. Um, but, that is, uh, that's the swarm transfer. So, what, what do you think? It's awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? I like bees. Yeah, they're fun. Um, and you, you guys saw how docile they were. So, um, that's it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate Connie for filming and uh, letting me come out and keep some bees out in her, in her beautiful place here. So, um, yeah. Beautiful North Idaho. And uh, it is June 15th and it's supposed to be 70 today and the nectar flow is on so these guys should build up real fast. In fact, um, I would think in a week I'll have a second deep on here. Thanks for watching Neen's Bees. We will see you soon.